Do 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 do. I eat game. Yeah. Hey, Shinobis, Mark here, and I'm back from a little bit of break, taking on uh, Lone Shadow, Vile Hand, and uh, well, this, what's funny is this fight gave me a little bit of trouble, but it's actually not too bad. So let's go over a couple things here. So it's going to be pretty basic attack strategy. We're just going to do a dodge into a Whirlwind Slash. Um, so you do need Whirlwind Slash, and you do need the Puppeteer uh, skill, um, which you should have. You should have both of those by now. You can bring along some firecrackers if you like. Let's be sure we max out those spirit emblems. Uh, Echo sugar and Gokan sugar. Um, if you're having some trouble, those will be helpful. Okay, so let's go ahead and make sure that we have the Whirlwind Slash enabled under Combat Arts. And then under Ninjutsu, make sure we have the Puppeteer skill enabled. All right, so when we approach the dojo, go ahead and crouch before we enter the room. And... Um, we're gonna take an immediate left. We're gonna go ahead and ignore our friend there for now and hug the wall on the left. Do not go di diagonally because he will see you. Just stay to the left, then curl around, and then we are going to grab him. We're gonna perform a death blow here, but be ready because we need to perform another death blow or death blow and hit the right bumper. That is going to enable the puppeteer. We're gonna turn him into a puppet. Vilehand is back there going, hey, what's going on over here? And uh, he's going to get real curious. Now, what I like to do is get some distance so that they can start engaging uh, uh, each other. I kind of got stuck on a wall here. <laughs> so he will engage him, and that will allow me to heal or do whatever it is you need to do if you want to take any sugars or anything. Um, and look at this. They got kind of stuck in the corner. This is actually not a good spot. Now, I like to thrust when uh, picking my shots here on Vile Hand while the puppet is attacking him because um, it's, it's a really accurate attack. Um, and once you hit him once, he will come towards you because he will, you will aggro him. Um, then your puppeteer will attack him, and then he will turn back and go after our puppet. Um, try not to hit your puppet. Uh, he does have, you can hurt him. You can see his posture damage is going up. Look at how much damage has been, been done to his health. Now, our puppet is dead. When he heals like this, when you see that white glow coming off him, he is trying to reduce his posture. So be sure you go in there and give him a good whack. It's pretty much a free hit. Um, this is a bad spot to be in. You do not want to be in close quarters with this guy. So try and get some distance between him. And what we're going to try and do for this fight is dodge to his left. Um, this is too much of a dodge to the left. You kind of want to do it slightly to the left, but you can still try and get a hit on him. Um, we kind of want to be as close as we can to perform that whirlwind, but it's going to take some getting used to. You know, with most of these fights, there's a rhythm to it, and you're, you're yeah, when he glows like that, you want to go in and whack him always. Um, it's basically a free hit. But yeah, like most fights, you're learning the rhythm and the distance and measuring distance. So here we go. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna sort of dodge to his left and keep it nice and tight. And now he's open for a whirlwind. So you're gonna hit left bumper, right bumper, and you'll do this nice sweeping smack and it'll hit him twice. And that's essentially what we're gonna try and do. He is highly susceptible to this and it does, it does a fair amount of damage. It doesn't do a lot. So you'll see, now that I got my first death blow, if you look up at his health at 100%, we're just going to kind of pick away at it. And, you know, sometimes we do this for some of the fighters. If you wanted to, if you're good at deflecting, you can, you can parry and you can get his meter up fairly quickly. But if you're having trouble with the timing or you're just having a bad day with parrying, this is probably the easiest way to do it. See, it's always to the left. So we're gonna go to our left, his right, and we're gonna, as soon as we get to his side like this, uh, okay, sometimes he will block it, but uh, that just means I wasn't fast enough. But even if you wanna get one swing in there, you could do that too, it's just that the whirlwind attack is, a, oh, it's almost a free double hit just like that. Now, if you look at his health, he's, he's now down to 45%, something like that. And so we just keep working on it. And once I, once I figured out this rhythm, it actually, the fight became kind of easy. Um, and uh, pairing him is, is not too bad either, but I wanted to show a technique for some folks who might be having trouble with the timing. Because there's some bosses where I just can't get the timing and they seem so easy. 
So let's go ahead and whack him when he's uh, trying to restore some of his posture. And he's almost there. He is so close. We're going to do another dodge into it. Oh, I blew that one. How did I blow that? Um, and so if you need to, get some distance from him to reset. And then we just, even if he does a perilous attack, you don't have to, par you don't have to parry those. You don't have to jump or do a Makiri counter. Just dodge to the left and go ahead and whack him. Don't forget to like and subscribe, folks. That does help me out quite a bit. Thanks for checking out my video.